to take a minute to thank um, our home and school leadership for these past several years, including the dynamic leadership that resulted in that, I'd say, $35,000 or more improvement of that property out there. It's your property, it's your school, and it's beautiful. So I'd like to join me in thanking our home and school, okay? We have some of them here. And I'd like to call them up for a minute so they can take a bath. No, no. Uh, Fran Damore, will you come up? Maria Mento, come up. Carrie Valentin, come up. Is Mrs. Hamblin here? Mr. Hamblin is here. You can come up in her place. And, and Mrs. Sentiment. Mr. Sentiment is here. Come up, guys. You can deliver these for me. Come on up. activities that go on here and uh, each year the home and school asks you for ten dollars dues which is the lowest dues in town I guarantee you we have the lowest home and school dues of any school in town and uh, the activities that we do and the opportunities provided for your kids um, the enhancement of our property in fact we're looking at doing something in the back of the school next that's how aggressive we are to beautify that as well so um, all of this happens because you make contributions some of you have time to be here, some of you don't. I understand that. But we have to take leadership and, and thank them. So thank you again, folks, for your leadership. Okay, uh, very nice, thank you. Um, I'd like to also, before we begin, uh, talk to you about concert matters. Um, I know that that's a term that may not be necessary, but I'd like to review what we pride ourselves in Fairview, is that everybody conducts themselves appropriately at these events. And you all do, you can, you can applaud, you can cheer, that's fine. Please don't get out of your seat, that's number one. And number two, don't come forward with cameras. Um, from your seated position, if you wanna raise your camera, your phone, whatever you wanna do, feel free to take uh, pictures from your seated position so you don't block anybody around you. And if you wanna go to the perimeter of the place, be my guest, you can go over there, there, or there, and take photos. We see a dad back there, it's the model, he's doing it right, he's got his camera back there, and he's filming the whole event. That's great. But just don't come up, it's very disconcerting. There's no room up here. You'll see Mr. Pissarro walking over this stuff in a minute. So thank you for doing that, and also, please don't leave, okay? Stay, it's gonna run until about 3.05 or so. Okay, so please don't leave. Hang around and join the entire show. All right, we're about to begin. And I'd like to begin by thanking a few people. You can see the artwork done up here. That is uh, the under the direction done by our fifth and sixth graders under the direction of our fine teacher of art, Mrs. Sandra Gugliamino. So let's extend a thank you to her. She's teaching right now. And I also would begin thanking our two teachers of music. We have a fine teacher of instrumental music, and we have a wonderful teacher of vocal music. And together they put together a wonderful program. You know, I delayed this from April because of that nasty park word. I won't say it again. Uh, Mr. Anderson, I apologize. It's Mr. Anderson. Oh, by the way, my good friend, I, I keep I, I can't refer to him as anything else, but he is the president of the Bloomfield Board of Education. Mr. Anderson, stand up. And his grandson, Nathan, beautiful Nathan Anderson. That is the president of the Board of Education who used to teach here. Um, and he's a magical man, and he still cares a great deal about our kids. And I won't mention that P word again, Mr. Anderson, because I know how you feel. That said, um, we delayed this so that it could be ready and proper. So I know it's June, and you know I wanted to make sure our teachers had enough time to make it work. So under the direction of our instrumentalists, we have Mrs. Messick. Let's give her a thoroughly thank you. And Mr. Carmine Pissarro back there. Mr. Pissarro is our teacher of vocal music. So. We're about to begin. I hope you enjoy it. There are going to be kids walking up and down the aisles. It's a great show. You're going to be rocking and rolling, and you're going to have a good time. Okay, so it's a pleasure for me to introduce 
our uh, string orchestra under the direction of Mrs. Elaine Messick. Mrs. Messick. Thank you, Mr. Gisman. Um, the string orchestra that you see in front of you, we have several players, and we represent violins and violas and cellos, so it's wonderful to have that uh, diversity in our instruments. And we're going to start with a tune called French Folk Song.
While I have a minute, I'd like to introduce and thank our school guidance counselor who's helping us with the performance, Mrs. Ms. Fitzgerald. Say hello, everybody. I know how much she helps each of you. She's great. Good job, kids. Great job. And yeah, they're great. And as they move forward, you'll see them progress in the middle school. And Bloomfield High School, I think it's safe to say, has some of the top instrumental groups in the state. In fact, many of our kids make state, all state, uh, whatever instrument they play. It's very, uh, I went to the awards assembly at the high school. Amazing to see all the awards in the area of music and fine art. So there's a great road ahead for them. There you go. Okay, go ahead up. I think we're ready now. And um, as Mr. DeSimone said, you can see a variety of different instruments up here. In addition to our stringed instruments, we have the violin, viola, and cello. Uh, up here we have some flutes. Want to hold them up for us? A bunch of flutes, clarinets over here. We have another woodwind, the alto saxophone. And we also have the brass instruments, trumpets. And one lone but fantastic trombone. And that's what we're going to do for our first tune. The first tune is um, a melody that's called R.O.E. And it has a historical past, like Civil War times. But it was revitalized in the 1950s when Elvis took his song, Love Me Tender, and set it to the same music. So it may sound familiar to you one way or This is R.O.E. Kyoto. 
do with band is um, something that's rooted right here in America, which is jazz and the blues. This one's called Hard Rock Blues. Mrs. Messick, ladies and gentlemen, thank Mrs. Messick one more time. Great job. By the way, grade six parents, um, we have class day coming up. I believe you received the invitation. Uh, June 23rd at 11 a.m. right in this room. It's going to be set up similarly. Um, and we'll have an opportunity to recognize our grade six students as they move on to the middle school. It's a great event. And in come our grade four vocalists. Let's give them a nice welcome as they enter. Thanks. Okay. Mr. Passaro, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I'm proud to introduce our teacher of vocal music, Mr. Carmine Passaro. Mr. D. We'll get them on as soon as we can. They should get the class picture taken on this day, Mr. D. for supporting Mr. Fasaro. We have Ms. Salmon right here. Raise your hand, Ms. Salmon. Ms. Piazza and Ms. Robinson right over there. Ms. Robinson and Ms. Zimmerman, I think, might be here as well. Okay. Now, they dress so nicely, but I have to squeal. Didn't stop them from running crazy at lunch hour. 
I say, now, no, don't bloody up those nice clothes that you're wearing. Not dirty them up, bloody them up. You know, they fall on that mechanic. It's ouch time. But they seem to hold up pretty well. Don't they look great? Thank you for dressing them today. They look great. We don't have a dress code, but I think we're close. I think we're close. This is going to be cool. Wait, you see this. Okay, so um, the fourth grade has been working extremely hard this year. Um, I tell all the incoming fourth graders um, that it's, ex it's an exciting year in music because they get to sing and play an instrument. We use the, uh, the recorder, which they're wearing around their neck, um, kind of as a, uh, an introduction or a trial um, in fourth grade that hopefully leads them into picking uh, a real instrument in fifth or sixth. Um, so every child gets to take home a recorder, courtesy of uh, Bluefield, and um, they're going to show you first their, their instrumental uh, talent. terms thrown around. Uh, basically, a melody is just uh, what you just heard, a, a musical um, melody, a musical line. Um, when you, when uh, the word harmony is when you have two different or two similar melodies happening at the same time. So what we did is we learned the melody that they just played. Now we're going to play another melody that's similar. Okay. Um, and then after we do that, we'll put them together to create harmony. So melody plus another melody equals harmony. So here's our second melody.
We have to add one more thing to that that I already forgot. The bass part. Don't kill me if I don't let them do this. So we're going to add now a third part, which is the bass part. All right, so I need those bass people to come down. All right, so we got these instruments um, called boom whackers, um, which are just tubes um, that are different sizes. So the longer the tube, the lower the pitch, the, uh, the, the shorter it is, the higher in pitch it is. Uh, guys, why don't you just hit, hit a little bit for us? All right, so you'll hear that. That's gonna play bass, and then we have a xylophone player over here. Go for it, Ruth Bells. Awesome, all right? And you guys, let's switch it now. Harmony, melody.
So, front row, you guys can head up the middle. Great job, grade four. Well done. Let's give them another thank you. We're very proud of them. Reporters and baseball, all kinds of good stuff going on. Okay, our fifth graders are ready to come on, and uh, hopefully you're ready to rock and roll. It's all awesome. I think we got a couple more. All right, while we get um, the last uh, few children up here, uh, the fifth grade is going to start out with this song called The Rhythms of One World. And um, it actually calls for some audience participation. Um, so, whenever you hear um, the melody of this, whoa, 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 you can sing along with us. Uh, guys, can we demonstrate it to uh, our friends and family? Just do it twice. Awesome. So whenever you hear that in the song, feel free to join in with us. Thank you.
for the extra dancing this year. Uh, yeah. All right. Um, and now they get to do singing and dancing. Uh, some of these tunes might bring back uh, some memories. So uh, you can feel free to uh, dance and sing to this one also.
standing O for the fifth grade. Fantastic. Wow, I'm tired just watching it. That's great. Home and school, could we get you guys to uh, serve some Gatorade or something, maybe? All right, fifth grade, nice job. Uh, go ahead, Zach. While I can, I'd like to thank Mr. Guglielmino, he's right there, Ms. Zimmerman, Mr. Ryder, right over there, and Mrs. Radder, right there. Thanks for your help, folks. Thank you. in singing, so I said, sure, why not? So we've been meeting uh, on and off, like at lunch and stuff, every now and then, uh, and we, we put together um, the song Wake Me Up, um, and uh, I hope you enjoy. This is Fairview's first uh, fifth grade small choir portion.
Thank you. Shop is great. Okay, and now we'll, we'll finish it up with the sixth grade. Here they come. I get the thumbs up, Ms. Fitzgerald. Ms. Zimmerman is here as well, I believe. And Okay, here's Mrs. Donovan. Let's give Mrs. Donovan a welcome. Thank you, Mrs. Donovan. Don't they look great, ladies and gentlemen? Let's give them a welcome. There you go, kids. Get ready to rock and roll. Our next selection is All of Me. Hope you enjoy it.
Okay, awesome. Fifth grade, or sixth grade, nice job. All right, I guess the lights, hey, sixth grade, lights by your side. Um, we're gonna finish it off with um, I Want You Back. Thanks so much for coming. I know it's hot, I know it's June. Um, we're almost there. Um, we love doing these things, as you can tell by uh, the principal over there. He likes to talk a lot, right? He, he really does. Uh, he really does care about your kids, and he really does care about this school. So you're you're, you're lucky to have him. And um, we'll finish it off with a bang. Here we go. six teachers over there, uh, Mrs. Cooper Smith. And, uh, hey! Uh, reputation. Uh, Mrs. Cooper Smith, you may or may not be aware, has decided to take a very well-deserved retirement. So we're going to miss Mrs. Cooper Smith. Mrs. Cooper Smith will say a lot more to you before you leave. But we wanted to take a minute to say we love you and thank you. Yeah, they, they are our educators and they are career educators. There are a few of us who are career educators. Uh, Tired that generation. Okay. Um, excellent. Okay. Mr. Vassaro, Mrs. Messick, where are you? Right here. Ladies and gentlemen, was this a great performance? We're proud of you. We look forward to class day on June 23rd. Please come, 11 a.m. 
and the kids are going to sing a little bit, and we will recognize each one of them for their fine efforts. So thank you, Grade 6. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out. Appreciate it. Have a good day. They're going to exit, and then you can meet them um, outside. It's 310. I was off by five minutes in my prediction. Uh, but uh, 310, 10 minutes, they'll be outside. Okay? Thank you very much.